Another year, another cool water flanker. Oh well, at least he's got an interesting concept this year. Hello Fragrance Community, it's your old bud Rorschach here. Welcome to The Right Scent. How are you all doing today? Are you coping with the lockdown situation? Don't worry, I think we're nearing the end of it right now. So we've got a new flanker to look forward to. And if like me, you're a big comic book geek, uh, this one might have... Um, tickles your interest you might be um, wanting to go down to your local department store and have a sniff and see if it smells a little bit better than the disappointing cool water intense that didn't actually smell like cool water at all so, so what's going on with, with, with the flanker here well first off I want to talk about the, the marketing campaign the association with Aquaman obviously um, even I can get that one you know Aquaman a, a guy who likes to hang around the, the, the taverns down the docks uh, a salty fella is, is Aquaman and, and Davidoff cool, cool Water, a, a, a perfume with, with vibes of the sea. So I do get the tie-in, um, but um, it seems to be a little bit too late, really, to get on board the Aquaman hype train. The movie was released in, in 2018. Seems like a long time ago now, doesn't it, in, in these lockdown days in, in, in 2020. Um, the, the Justice League movie wasn't exactly um, a hit, <laughs> was it? So, yeah, Aquaman. Uh, yeah, people like the Jason Momoa, or however you pronounce his, his name, that, 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 that dude. But there doesn't appear to be any connection to that actor in the advertising um, um, images here. you just got the, the arm coming out of the ocean. And I can understand why they would not want to connect it with the movie, actually, because... There's, there's something else going on with that movie, and it doesn't involve the, the lead. It involves his girlfriend, um, a lass by the name of Mera. And um, it's a bit puzzling to me, actually, that they've got the, the male and female versions of, of these uh, flankers. The, uh, the male version is Aquaman, and the female version is Mera. Why, why is that strange? Well, it's strange because... When I think of Mera now, I think of Amber Heard, the actress who portrayed Mera, and uh, her allegations that she made against Johnny Depp. She was a Me Too battered woman, wasn't she? Well, that's what we thought. It was about a year or so ago now. But uh, over the last few months, there we go, Mera. Um, some unsettling truths about the actress have been revealed. And it wasn't so much of a, a battered mirror. It was more like a, a battered sparrow situation that, that was going on there. So, yeah, I don't know if there's going to be too many um, ladies who want to smell like the lady who beat up Johnny Depp and then lied about it, you know? Allegedly. Alle allegedly. But um, that's the, the marketing. So, yeah, <laughs> probably not the best time to be marketing an Ackerman fragrance. But what does it smell like? Let's have a look at the notes. And uh, I'll leave a link to the article down below. There's some waffle about neo-cologne. I don't know if that's actually going to be a thing or it's just, you know, marketing. And it's all about the modern statement of masculinity and virility and stuff, blah, blah, blah. But what are the actual notes? Let's, let's have a look here. All right. So the male version first. Woody neo-cologne. The openings, a burst of uh, mandarin, so some citrus, black pepper, and then we've got some wood on, on, on the notes. Let's have a look at the official notes. Green mandarin, black pepper, guaric wood. I hope it doesn't get too far away from the, the regular cool water vibe, like the cool water intense did. Um, I want my cool water to smell like cool water. And as a comic book geek, I'll definitely be checking it out. Hopefully it's good. I, I do want to, to purchase this one. So the, the, the female version, the Mera, the unfortunately named Mera version. Um, what's that one all about? Let's have a look at the notes. I'm less interested in this one, obviously. Flower petals, green mandarin, magnolia, and, and, and tuberose. So yeah, um, the, the Mera version, uh, the connections to Amber Heard might be a little bit problematic, but the, the male version, because I'm a comic book geek, because I love my, my my cool water, because I haven't actually got one in my collection at the moment, if I can find it for a decent price, and it actually smells like like cool water, it doesn't drift too far away from the uh, the, the you know the original DNA 
I, I might have this one like check it out I'll definitely will check it out and add it to to my collection so I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to it I, I would say more than I usually am for for cool water flankers um, I do love my comic books well I, I love them as they used to be and I love cool water as it used to be that's what happens when you get older you like things as they used to be and you start to lament what they are now hopefully hopefully this one smells like cool water but that's my take and uh, I'm looking forward to hearing your take as well so let me know what you think about this are you excited about it please let me know in the comments down below thanks for checking out the vid please like and subscribe if you'd be so kind take care and I'll Smell you all later. See you guys. Bye.